Hello friends, and today we're going to do our new challenge. And that is to see what kind of colors you guys can mix together with your very own paint that we're going to make today with a couple of items that we can probably find in our cabinets. So it's a really simple process today. We're going to be taking some distilled vinegar, some uncolored dish soap, some pure baking soda, and some food coloring, liquid or gel, doesn't matter. And we're going to mix all those things together to make a fizzy and bubbly watercolor paint. So I look forward to seeing what types of colors you guys come up with and the way you mix them and what you guys ultimately paint with the paints that we make today. Now this is just an example of what Mr. Ryan has done in his practice run. And I'm actually going to add to that, uh, after we get our paints mixed here, I'm going to make a different color than the one that I made here, which was blue. We're going to do a different one so we can see what happens when we mix the colors. So, why don't you guys come along with me and we'll make our very own watercolor paint. All right, so one of the first things we need to do is we need to measure out our ingredients. And I'm going to start by taking the one tablespoon of dish soap. And again, you can see that I'm not really being uh, exact in my measurements, but I am trying to do equal parts. So it'll be equal parts of non-exactness. So that's one tablespoon of clear dish soap. And now we're going to very carefully, and I suggest your mommies and daddies help you with this, uh, we're going to very carefully pour the one tablespoon of white vinegar. There we go. And then we are going to add our drops into this solution of our food coloring. And I'm going to choose red for this solution. So we open it here and we're going to add four drops or, you know, you can add more than four drops depending on how vibrant you want the color to be. So I added a few more drops there um, for my color. And I'm just going to give that a stir. And then you're going to take your, uh, take the cup that you're going to mix the baking soda and water solution into where that will house all of your uh, paint and just dump that into that little bowl there and continue to gently stir it up so all of the um, all of the food coloring gets mixed together. It will probably be helpful if you find the liquid food coloring and not the gel food coloring. Uh, I had just the gel food coloring. So you're really going to have to mix this up to get the gel to kind of mix in with the dish soap and the vinegar. So I really stirred that. And so now we're going to move on to our next solution and that would be solution B. And that is one tablespoon of baking soda. And again, um, you're going to see me not really be exact here. And that's one tablespoon of baking soda, and then it's going to be one tablespoon of water. Uh, and so we're going to do the one tablespoon of water, and since it's just a little bit, yeah. All right, so, and then what I did was, is I stirred that up. Okay, I'm going to give that a little bit of stir so they can get all mixed in. All right, and what we have left to do is take our solution B and add it to solution A. And you're going to see that our solutions should start. <laughs> ah, yes! Should start to bubble. You can kind of see that there, how it created bubbles. And it does that because the vinegar and the baking soda mix together to make all that bubbles. And so that's going to give our watercolor paint a little bit of texture okay so mr ryan chose to make red and i can't wait to see what colors you guys make uh 
with your watercolors. And so what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to get my paper here, and I'm going to take the red, and I'm going to just put a little bit of paint over top of the blue that I'd already painted. And we see here how it's got a little bit of texture to it. See? There we go. So I want to see what paintings you guys can come up with, with your colors. See what happens whenever you mix the red and the blue, or the uh, blue and the yellow, or maybe the red and the green. Just have some fun with it. Uh, and then you guys can put lids on these and keep them, keep the solution uh, for up to, up to a week. Um, and that's how long they, that's how long they stay good for. So that is our challenge today to come up with uh, some good watercolors and paint away and use your imaginations to come up with some pictures. So until we see each other again, friends, have fun painting and be safe.